The construction of 16 kilometers of twin bore tunnels underneath the Chilterns is probably the most high profile way in which the impacts of HS2 are being mitigated. But the 2.6 million cubic meters of spoil that will be excavated is also providing an opportunity for HS2 to have a lasting positive impact on the environment. The spoil in this particular instance consists of chalk excavated from the Chilton Hills, which has provided HS2 Limited with a unique opportunity to create almost 100 hectares of new chalk grassland, which is a type of calcareous grassland mainly found on limestone and chalk valleys of southeast England and the Isle of Wight. The spoil is piped from the tunnel boring machines to the southern portal in the form of a slurry. Once it reaches the surface, it is dried and then processed before being transported to the mitigation areas via articulated dump trucks. None of the excavated material will leave the site, which is also home to the concrete tunnel segment factory and the factory which is assembling the huge bridge sections for the Con Valley Viaduct. The site has a direct connection to the M25, so therefore very few HGVs need to use the A421 to reach the site. Eventually the entire 120 hectare site will be landscaped with a mixture of woodland, wood pasture and wetland habitats. To reduce waste, recycled concrete and aggregates are mixed with the chalk to form a base layer, on top of which a layer of topsoil is added. The soil was excavated from the site and placed in stockpiles for later use. The chalk base layer and topsoil is low in nutrients and holds little water, so you may be forgiven for asking why it's beneficial to even create such a grassland. However, chalk grasslands are home to a huge variety of small herbs and wildflowers, including some of the UK's rarest orchids and invertebrates, in addition to being home to butterfly species such as the Chalk Hill Blue. Looking over the site on a cold autumn morning, it was difficult to imagine that it will eventually be a thriving and important natural habitat. Currently, some parts look more like moonscapes with a bare, white, sticky chalk layer covering large tracts of land. But the areas which have been covered with topsoil do at least give an idea of what the topography will look like. Eventually, the landscape will have gentle rolling hills with ponds, woodlands, wetlands and grasslands, which, as well as providing a valuable natural habitat, will also provide a large open space for people to enjoy. Once the tunnel and viaduct are complete, the factories will be dismantled and the remainder of the site will be landscaped and, once complete, will be open to the public. The master plan for the site includes 3.3 kilometres of new surfaced and unsurfaced walking routes, over one kilometre of new bridleways and cantering routes, as well as retaining 2.3 kilometres of the old Shire Lane bridleway, whilst 1.7 kilometres of existing rights of way will be realigned. Some people may argue that HS2 is causing untold damage to the natural environment from which it'll never recover, whilst others argue that excavating 10 miles of twin bore tunnels underneath the Chilterns is a costly extravagance. So it often seems that HS2 Limited can't win either way. But excavating tunnels is just the price we have to pay for building in the UK, whilst trying to protect the natural environment and mitigate the impacts of the line for local residents. In terms of ground level mitigation, in my experience, following HS2 and talking to those working on the project, it seems that the ecologists are doing what they feel is best to protect and enhance the natural environment, whilst trying to mitigate the impacts of building a new electric railway. So, while some may be angry at the current visual impact that HS2 is having on the countryside, I strongly believe that the line will eventually blend into the landscape, and in fact the line and mitigation will enhance the landscape and local environment. I plan to release a video soon about the Chilton tunnels and progress so far, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that video.